30k, some element zero. We live in large. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. <laughs> Give her the files now. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. <laughs> I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. <laughs> Miranda does not look pleased. Good banter. Good, clean banter. Right. Shotgun damage. That's 2,500. I can get that. I just want to see what the shield thing is. Uh, oh, nice. That's the fucking palladium one. Absolutely. Damage protection. Yep. Uh, and then we can get the redundant field generator. Sometimes when Shepard's shields go down, they instantly are fully restored. Oh my god, that's amazing. Thank you very much. Holy shit, that is going to be so good. Uh, that's going to take a bit. Hard shields requires one more damage protection. This is just for me. Shepard's shields take 20% less damage. Interesting. One more damage protection to get that. Cool, cool. Uh, right, let's get the shotgun damage. Yummy, yummy. Shotgun shield piercing. Oh, we're so close to it. Oh, but it needs another shotgun damage upgrade to unlock. All right, all right. Increases damage by 50% against shields and barriers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right, that's everything I wanted right now, right? I doeth believeth. Uh, cool. So, uh, here's a fun thing, which I hadn't noticed before, which you guys pointed out. It says on the right-hand side which team members are on which floor. <laughs> Remember when I couldn't find Zaid for a while? Uh, yeah, it literally... Literally says it on the right-hand side, and I just didn't notice, so that's good. Uh, so, Jack is down here. Is she going to be... Uh, that's where Zaid is. She's going to be down the very bottom, right? Hey, nice. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. You're welcome. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. Indeed. I'm gonna find they're not my I friends. Use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names. Dates. Places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. I mean, maybe let's chill on the whole friends paying if they didn't have anything to do with it. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. Does that did that change what it was called? What happens when you find what I you're go looking hunting. for? No, okay. Their associates pay. Their friends. I won't let I'm you go. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since, and they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm going to chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. Yeesh. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. 
You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. I'm not sure how I feel about this attitude, Jack. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. <laughs> yep. Anything hey. else? Oh, yep. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before <laughs> she opened her mouth. Oh boy. We're gonna have some issues. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the Collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You wanna know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Uh, okay. Is it a prototype? Ah! Subject Zero Biotic Boost. Jack, specifically, gets 20% biotic damage. Jack's vital signs show progressive neural degeneration, which would normally decrease her potential ability to generate mass effect fields. Instead, her ability appears to be increasing. Replacing the power module in her bioamp with a higher capacity prototype module would dramatically increase the strength of Jack's biotics. It's an Element Zero thing. Do we have any other Element Zero things that we are waiting on at the moment? Uh, the tech damage thing is element zero, but we... Or tech duration, rather, but we need another tech damage before we can even get that. God damn it. Uh, oh, wait, that's what I just looked at. So I guess we can just go for this, then? Enjoy, Jack. Hey. I picked up a lot of resources. I figured out those L5Xs. Consider yourself lucky. It's not like I keep a library of this shit around. Fair enough. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm done talking. Come back later. I should go. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, this is going to be an interesting one. She has got me intrigued. Hopefully we can uh, temper her urge to fucking murder everyone. <laughs> and the friends of people that she wants to kill and shit. Because uh, that's a little bit yikes. But uh, she's certainly an interesting character. Very cool. Very cool. Right. Now it's time for the traditional go round of the ship and chat to everyone else. Let's see what else new there is. Starting with... I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. <laughs> but all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do for you, Commander? I love them so much. Carry on. Will do, Commander. I would lay down my life for these two. They are the best. <laughs> they are actually the best. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, Zaid, I'm assuming you're not going to ever have... Any conversation stuff, but, uh... Back for another lesson. Just eternal one-line dialogue kind of thing? Jack, subject oh. zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. That's interesting. So it is definitely worth coming to see him because he, he will update with new lines about who we recruit and stuff. That's good. Ever been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's where they send you. In there you've got two choices. Bash your head open on the wall or kill everyone between you and the exit. Sorry, just noticed my uh, <laughs> laptop had not been put on charge properly as I'm using to uh, do the recording and it was about to die and that would have been not good. <laughs> I should let you go. 
talk more later, Shepard. I was just I just happened to glance over and I saw the low power thing. I was like, no! <laughs> R.I.P. that recording had that happened. But uh we good, we good. Uh da 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 da, da sure. Nothing new from you guys? Okie dokie. Hey, got a minute? Always. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. <laughs> the Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I, I... Did I look at this painting? I don't remember looking at this. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. Huh. Interesting. I think I examined everything else, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. F. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies... I won't take any more. I wonder if he'll ever get any new dialogue. I've checked him quite a lot now. Miranda's certainly going to have some thoughts. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Or not? Maybe another time. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Really? No dialogue about Jack? I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. I'm I'm very surprised at that. I really thought, like, out of everyone, I thought she'd be the one to have something to say about Jack, because they just had a fucking go at each other. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. I. Uh, you're not gonna have anything else to say. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Doop doop doop. Anything new for you? How may I help you, Commander? Nope. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Feed my fish. Uh, was there anything else I need to do up here? I don't think so. It's literally just the fish feeding that I come up for. Uh, oh, right, Joko as well. I think some so, people... Hadley, oh. How are you going to spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're going to kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. <laughs> I think some people were saying Joker's dialogue can bug out if you change floors before speaking with him and he just won't have any, so hopefully that won't happen. And I'll try and remember to do it before changing floors. Okay, Shepard. Glad you're back. Oh, but he's good. Keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. I assume everything is going well up here. Shh. Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. <laughs> so, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. Okay. As for the crew, you'd have to ask. That's me. it for now. See you, Commander. ED rarely has anything new to say. I mean, let's just try, I guess, but... Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? 
Uh, well, that's, that's all. That's all for now. Yeah, no. Logging you out, Shepard. Do do do. That just leaves Jacob and Modena. Medina Station. Uh, what does Jack have? Oh, we love to see it. Jack is a shoddy fan. Wonder if Jack's a vanguard. Probably. Feels right. Uh, cool. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do How this are we later. doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a sh okay. anything else, Commander? We'll talk later. Commander. Okie dokie. No one's in here. Nope. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. <laughs> Hard to concentrate. Affecting morale. Anything else? <laughs> Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in always some matters, but nothing affected. Have you got a minute? Having to trouble work anything yeah, okay. else? <laughs> I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Okie dokie. And last but not least. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Man, it feels really wrong going with the I liked it thing. Because I'm still with Liara. But, yeah, apparently, like, this doesn't change anything. And it's good to keep going down this path. And there is no, like, actual relationship thing there. So it doesn't affect anything else. So I'm going to keep doing it. But it does feel kind of wrong. <laughs> You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Uh, okay. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe. Uh, any messages? Nope. Alright. Well... Oh yeah, we leveled up. Uh, how do we get pull again? Shockwave rank 2. Okay. Could do that. Hmm. Is it worth going from 20% to 30%? Really, I feel like I'm probably never going to be upgrading incendiary ammo. Like it's nice to have that little bonus, but feels like you get points so slowly in this game, and to just put it into a small 10% boost to damage, it's like eh. Before the fourth one sounds good, but I'd have to put this level into that. Then get another two levels and put it into that. And then get another two levels and put it into that. And that would be like the next ten parts before I could get that. And during that time I would never have got any of this. So I would like to get uh, level four charge. Improves your charge to unleash, unleashes a wave of biotic force around the impact point knocking back all enemies. Or increase the impact knocking targets back further and doing more damage. Also, briefly, slows down the world around you, giving you more time to react. See, that's tough. I really want the AoE. The AoE sounds great. You're not just knocking down the person you're hitting, you're knocking down everyone, so that means you've got less of a chance of dying. However, slowing down the world around you also sounds great, but then knocking people further away from you sounds less great because you're a shotgun class, so I want to charge into them and then shotgun them. But if I'm charging into them and that's knocking them a mile away, then the shotgun becomes less effective. But slowing down the world around you does sound good. I don't know. I don't know. Debating. I'm debating whether to put points into... Oh, that's cool. It actually makes it... 
it doesn't just increase the damage, this actually gives you two extra shockwaves, so instead it goes from 8 to 10, and the radius of those shockwaves are bigger. And then here it goes to 12 and the radius gets even bigger. And then... I think I'd probably go improved there if I ever get that far. Debating whether to go 2 and then next time I go 1 here. Just to have the ability or whether to save up and get this because that is like my class identity kind of thing. I think I'll save up. Even though I would like to have the option of pull. I think the next few levels, next level we'll get that. Level after we'll get that. Level after we'll get that. And uh, see how we go from there. Cool. Cool. Uh, let's pop a save. It's been a little bit. And. What should we do now? What shall we do now? Should we do this? A lost Cerberus operative is believed to be held in an Eclipse base on planet Lorek. The operative may have sensitive data that, if lost to Eclipse, could cause irreparable damage to Cerberus. Enter the Eclipse base on planet Lorek, Omega Nebula, and rescue the Cerberus operative. That's sounding pretty good. Uh, I've already forgotten where it was. <laughs> Shit. Was it here? I think it was here. It was Father, right? Whole lot of places here. Uh, da -da -da. what have we got? We've got Rich. Oh boy. Platinum heaven on this planet. Looking for those big spikes. There was one somewhere around there. Probe launched. Come on, we must be almost done with the rich by now. Oh my god, it takes so long to deplete a rich. <laughs> Now for the emergency shielding research project. Nice. Does that have a prerequisite? I think that had a prerequisite, so I can't actually get it yet, right? Oh! Launching probe. There we go. There we go. Kara. There have been no children born on Karar since the infamous pirate raid of 2047 when every child on the planet was rounded up and taken as a slave. Any couple finding itself pregnant preemptively moves off world. Jesus. Probe 
It's only good. Actually, I guess I should, uh, I guess I should check for element zero. Like, just in case, right? May as well get that. That's a double whammy. But, uh, it does not look like there's any element zero here, so... Uh, Lorek is an extremely rare example of a habitable world circling a red dwarf star. Uh, Terminus warlords have never been able to take Lorek for themselves. Tidally locked. It's rich! Anomaly detected. Right, this is the one... This is the one we're looking for, right? Follow the white indicator on the reticule to find the anomaly. Status of system operator is not known. General distress. Beacon auto process interrupted at parse point ACO 655321. Status of system operator is not known. General Do I launch? distress. I launched. Beacon auto process interrupted. Something on our sensors. Interesting. Signal scans detect a, tra detect a transmitter matching Cerberus encryption. It is registered to an unknown deep cover operative. Cerberus operative life signs unconfirmed. Other transmissions that match known Eclipse coded communications also detected. Cool. So that's that's the side mission thing. That's the N7 thing. Well, let's finish up our scans and then let's head on down. Tasty, tasty. Launching probe. Oh, there we go, down to moderate. Uh, right, let's... Uh, where's the land option gone? Do I have to go out and go back in? I guess so. Uh, cool, let's do it. Right, it is a Cerberus operative... So, I guess Miranda and Jacob? Actually, I forgot that we need to take Jack out because Jack's new. Oh, Jack can cycle appearance. Go from wearing nothing to wearing edgy clothes and a fucking, like, grey bar over her eyes? What? I'd prefer that if it didn't have the grey bar over the eyes. I don't like the covering the eyes. So I think we'll keep it like that, even though it's kind of weird. <laughs> Miranda and Jack love each other, so I'm sure they'll be fine. Right, uh, shockwave and pull. Okie dokie. And subject zero. Damage, recharge time, etc. She can get warp ammo. Good, good. Right, well... Sure, that'll do. Miranda, are we what are we doing with you? Uh, we're probably saving up for one of these, I guess. Sounds like a plan. Doki. Uh, incendiary ammo. Swap to shotty. Incendiary ammo. Do either of you have incendiary ammo? No. Overload, warp. We'll keep warp on you. Uh, pull or shockwave? Let's go with pull. 
Okay, seems good, seems good. Recover the stolen data and upload it to Cerberissimo. Hi! Good job, mate. Ah. Right. <laughs> Man, I always forget that I can't just do what I did in ME1 in this game. Fun though that was. Fun though that was. Not viable. <laughs> Can't reach the okay, that went better. Woo. Woo. I was spamming that Y button. I was spamming that charge. I was like, please, motherfucker, please let me do it. Please let me do it. I can see my health dropping. I was like, give me my fucking barrier. <laughs> Thankfully, it all worked out. Uh, security console. Access log. Subject ID. Interrogator. Uh, Corporal, is that? Giro? Cerberus Agent Tyrone Rawlings. Eclipse targeted Agent Rawlings some time ago. We know Rawlings is connected to the encrypted data we acquired. The data could conclusively prove Cerberus' involvement in Rachni experiments. We believe Rawlings possesses a cipher that can be used to decrypt the data. Without his cipher, the data could take years for Eclipse to decode. Uh, subject captured. Agent Rawlings proved difficult to capture, having insinuated himself on a ship bound for the Attican Traverse, he had won over the loyalty of the ship's crew, who believed him to be a human dignitary on a mission of discovery. Our own agents managed to disable the ship and hobble its defences long enough to extract Agent Rawlings. We lost a lot of men to obtain this asset, the data had better be worth the expense. Subject interrogated, the interrogation has failed. Despite some of our most advanced interrogation techniques, Agent Rawlings managed to evade our questions. When we applied more invasive methods, he proved resistant to those as well. Eventually, Agent Rawlings resistance caused tempers to flare. We consider it unfortunate that Agent Rawlings did not live to pass on the cipher. Jesus. We have men working to decipher the encryption now. As long as we control the data, its mere existence remains a powerful tool against Cerberus. They fucking killed the dude. They fucking killed the dude. Oh. <laughs> I just assumed. Whoops. Luckily, you can retry. Although that was worth fuck all. That was only worth... Oh shit, hello. Holy shit! I was reloading and it was taking a fucking while. Fuck. Fuck! I forgot it doesn't work when they have shields up. Oh, god damn it. Man, being a vanguard in this game is fucking hard. Let's kick some ass! I just wanna, I just wanna fly in, but it's just such bad. It's, it just leads to death. But it's so much fun. Can't target them. So I'm gonna do it anyway. You bet. Reload that shit. Uh, does anyone actually have? Overload's good for barriers, but... Oh, wait, no. Overload's not good for barriers. Overload's good for shields. Barrier's different. Right. They fly so far, and I don't even have the heavy charge. <laughs> the heavy charge makes them fly even further. It's crazy. So it seems like that way is the way to go. So what's out here? 
Nothing? Ah! 800 platinum, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. And in here. Shit. Oh, good guess. Good guess. 3,700. That's more like it. That is more like it, I say. I do. Go, go, Gadget, go! Ah, hello, my dude. This computer contains the encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. That would be a shame. Upload the data to the Alliance, you bitches! Data Fuck Cerberus. Oh, and then it just ends. Okay. <laughs> Cerberus operative Tyrone Rawlings was found dead. Encrypted data transmitted to Alliance for decryption. Experience gained, not much. Cash gained, 7.8. Platinum found. Alrighty. That's good banter. It said it was about uh, how Cerberus were experimenting on people with the Rachni and stuff in, uh, in the first game, which is... Stuff we Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Stuff we saw firsthand how awful Cerberus is. So good that we can actually fuck him over on that. Do 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 what's the new message? No messages for you, Commander. You just said I'd got a new message. You lie. <laughs> From Alliance Command. Commander. We got the data you sent. If this went public, it could do some serious damage to Cerberus' image. This intel will take years to decode, but just having it is a huge win for the Alliance. Well done, Shepard. Good luck on your mission, Anderson. Thanks, bruh. Title untitled from Error Invalid Sender Name. Hey, Shepard. Heard I have you to thank for getting out of purgatory. That's the prison place, right? Sent a ship to round me up, but they didn't weapons check good enough. I'm going to carve your name instead of mine into my next victim as thanks. Got anyone you need dead? Haha. <laughs> You did take a shot at me, though, on my way out, so I have to kill you. You know how it goes. Dad taught me that you let anybody hurt you, they get ideas, so you make sure you send a message. Not like I'm sending now, though. See you around, the people who live here are coming back, and it's showtime. Look around for your name. I'll make sure you find it before I find you, Billy. Oh, boy. There was no other way of doing that prison mission, I don't think. It didn't give me a choice when it was like, do you want to let all the prisoners out to get Jack out or anything? There was no choice there. It just did it in the cutscene, so... uh yeah, we've got a bunch of uh, not good people running around the galaxy now. So that's that's not good. But at least we took down the fucking corrupt prison place. So that is something. Uh, cool. Should we do a little cheeky codex sesh? We didn't level up from that, did we? No. Cheeky codex sesh. With the following the battle of the Citadel. Human and Turian volunteers conducted a massive three-month recovery effort to clear the station's orbit of debris. Secretly, the Turian Office of Technological Reconnaissance volunteers were technology recovery specialists, salvaging the main weapon of the Geth flagship Sovereign and large amounts of its valuable Element Zero core. Contrary to popular belief, Sovereign's main gun was not a directed energy weapon. Rather, its massive Element Zero core powered an electromagnetic field suspending a liquid iron-uranium tungsten alloy that shaped into armor-piercing projectiles when fired. The jet of molten metal, accelerated to a fraction of the speed of light, destroys targets by impact force and irresistible heat. Only 11 months after the battle, the Turians produced the Thanix, their own miniaturized version of Sovereign's gun. 
Thanix can fire reliably every 15 seconds, rivaling a cruiser's firepower, but mountable on a fighter or frigate. Man, crazy that the uh, the council were like, yeah, sovereign uh, sovereign ship just kind of broke up and vanished and stuff. And then here's the Turians like, yeah, we studied that shit and made our own version. Mad. Purgatory. Originally an ark ship designed to ca carry agricultural animals, uh, the purgatory was taken by the Blue Suns Mercenary Company during a large-scale battle in the Scillian Verge. In a years-long reconstruction of its interior, the Blue Suns repurposed it to hold sapient prisoners, supposedly because they captured so many in their conflicts throughout the galaxy. When media outlets started investigating claims that the ship was used for slaving operations, the Blue Suns turned a public relations nightmare into a regular income source. Claiming to be in full accordance with Citadel law, the crew of Purgatory now regularly lands on planets or space stations claiming they can no longer hold their prisoners because of cost overruns. To avoid keeping prisoners under inhumane conditions, they'll have to release them at the nearest port, dumping the scum of the galaxy directly into the local population. Faced with such a scenario, the government usually grants Purgatory's crew massive discounts in fuel, food, and repairs so long as they go away. Some even offload their own prisoners to Purgatory for a fee, grateful to have a problem relocated somewhere other than their backyard. Such unfortunates go in the dark depths of the ship, never to be seen again by their families or contacts. Purgator Purgatory is minimally armed with Guardian defences, though a cruiserweight ship, it relies on the Blue Sun's fighters to prevent any attacks spent on a jailbreak or similar events. Do, do, do. I guess it was the top one then. Argus Planet Scan Technology? The Argus provides a qualitative leap in planetary surface imaging, a proprietary technology of the Android Group, an R&D laboratory reportedly owned by Cerberus. This upgrade for Normandy's sensory array delivers superior long-range topographical, topographical scanning, resolution, and rendering speed. Uh, sure, I, I'm not going to read all that. <laughs> I feel like that's that's just a bunch of technical stuff. Uh. Are they, these are both new, right? I don't think we've read either of these. Grey boxes. A mnemonic neural recall stimulator, also known as a grey box, is a device implanted in the brain to assist and prioritise memory. Originally developed to slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease, grey boxes function by helping the amygdala chunk incoming stimuli into recognisable pieces for memory consolidation. Each memory is assigned, in a, is assigned a shape or sensation from other memories, tying the concepts together in a block that's more easily recalled. When Synthetic Insights first released them onto the market in 2140, grey boxes were hailed as a way humans could level the playing field between themselves and the Solarians, whose natural eidetic memories gave them an advantage. However, because the implant procedure of a grey box requires the brain to irreversibly shift its workload over to the machine, software bugs or attempted removal of the grey box for maintenance purposes can lead to incapacitating brain damage. For this reason, grey boxes soon became used only by those with a dire need for photographic memories, such as researchers or spies. In 2175, sale and implantation of grey boxes were outlawed by the Systems Alliance following an incident with Abraham Ramoy, an employee of the Alliance Intelligence Agency. Ramoy was believed to be a professional conman and thief named Keiji Okuda, interesting, this is the person that Kasumi was with, who accessed and sold classified data. However, prosecuting attorneys were unable to use his assisted memories as evidence due to the Alliance court system's prohibitions against self-incrimination based on the Fifth Amendment to the old US Constitution. Rumoi soon disappeared off the map following his trial, further heightening suspicions that he was Okuda and living off ill-gotten gains. When found outside a human head, grey boxes are usually accessed with a specialised reader. A separate decryption key is almost always required, as users with data sensitive enough to require a grey box invariably install their own encryption. And lastly, Planet Beckenstein. More glittering than diamonds, more expensive than surgery is how travel agents describe this planet behind closed doors. Given the opportunity to colonise planets after the First Contact War, the Systems Alliance chose Beckenstein to be their trading arm, producing goods to be sold on the nearby Citadel. Cracking the va vast galactic marketplace proved difficult. The first human products sold on novelty alone, then lack of demand hit Beckenstein's economy hard. Only in the second generation of colonists did the planet find a sustainable niche in high quality entertainment and luxury goods. Once brand awareness sunk in, aliens flocked to Beckenstein's many spaceports. The planet today boasts more millionaires and billionaires per capita than any other human colony. Though its crime tends to be white collar and non-violent, Beckenstein is not without its dark side. Both its suicide rate and inflation are extremely high compared to other worlds. Unemployment is artificially low because few people immigrate to the expensive planet without having a job lined up, 
and the cost of living is so great that unemployed workers typically leave for kinder planets after just a few months. Those who stay see themselves as tougher, sharper and more skillful than the rest, as well as capable of getting respect and employment on any lesser planet. As a popular song says, if you can make it on the beck, you got him by the neck. Lovely. There we go, let's pop a fat save and that is where we will leave off for today. We have one more dossier to complete, which is what we will do next time. Uh, I guess we should probably do a quick round of the ship as well next time, uh, in case anyone has anything new to say after we got that side mission done, but it's probably nothing. I'll just check a couple of people, and then we will head off to Dr. O'Kear. Good stuff. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Mass Effect 2. Thanks for watching. See you then.